how to contact influencers, and how to negotiate a deal. After you have found the influencer of your choice, you have the task of convincing them to collaborate with you. These negotiations need to be handled with enough care because it is a case where both parties absolutely need to benefit. One of the reasons is because you don't want to be the brand that influencers dislike and badmouth. Another reason is that building content with the same influencer is a better approach to building your brand, no matter the demographic. 1. Do your research. According to 61% of marketers, it is quite a challenge to find an influencer that matches the brand and the campaign. And if that decision goes south, that is only the first of many things that will eventually lead to the failure of the campaign. There are quite a few tools that will help you find such influencers, but the best way to go about it is to go through the social media accounts of the influencers. And while evaluating them, you must keep these factors in mind. Quality of the content. Follower count. Rate of follower engagement. Fit for your brand. Demographics of the audience. 2. Offer perks. If you run a company that does not have a huge budget for influencer marketing, you don't have to bow out of the game altogether. Sometimes monetary compensation is not the only way. You can strike a decent deal with an influencer by getting creative with what you have to offer. 3. Follow the metrics. It is very good practice to keep an eye on the numbers right from the beginning. Keep your influencer in the loop about the progress. This way, at the end of the campaign, you will be able to do an analysis of what worked and what didn't. Based on how that conversation goes, you can make a judgment call on whether or not you want to do another collaboration with the same influencer. 4. Think about repurposing this content. It's important to remember that some of this content might come in handy. For instance, if you're doing an Independence Day or Thanksgiving special, some, if not all of it, can be used again. Sometimes, that part is just one element of the content, like the templates made for the graphics. You want them to create different content for different platforms, but some items, once again like graphics, have the potential for reuse. 5. List deliverables in the proposal. This is a very important one. Just the way you define your goals right in the beginning Put the deliverables on paper, too. Your negotiations will be a lot simpler when you can set the tone of the relationship right away. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.